Oh, all right, guys, how you doing? What's up? Welcome back to another video. Um, two in a row, two, two videos in two days. I'm on a roll. But I told you yesterday, I'm selling this Canon ADD with this Sigma 18 to 35 lens, which may end up being a mistake in the end. I don't know. It's in mint condition. If you want it, still available. No buyers yet. Um, I'm in my daughter's bedroom in the basement. So a uh, little different location than my front porch usually. But the reason why I'm doing this video today for you guys is to tell you about my new camera. Well, it's not new. It's a used camera. It's old, um, older, three, four years. Uh, and tell you why I'm selling this camera for this camera right here. Careful who you cross, careful who you test. That's right, this is the Fujifilm X-T2. Not the three, not the four. And there's actually a really cool uh, story about this camera. So this camera is in really, really good shape. I just got it today in the mail. And this camera is actually the Angry Photographer's camera. If any of you guys follow uh, anything Fuji or Nikon related, the Angry Photographer, um, so he goes by on Instagram. He uh, just bought a farm and he's selling a bunch of his gear. He has a ton of Nikon equipment, ton of Fuji equipment, and he's selling a bunch of, I saw him post this. I've been looking at X-T2s because I love my X100V so much that I wanted a pro body with two SD card slots, interchangeable lens mount, um, ability to take a battery grip, all that stuff to accompany my X100V if I ever had to do something uh, more outside of what the X100V can handle. Um, so I've been looking at these and they've been going for, you know, 650, 600, something like that with just the body only in okay shape, a lot of forms. It's like the resale value of these has gone up a little bit uh, for whatever reason. And he was selling his with the battery grip, two batteries in excellent condition for 550 shipped to my house, which is amazing. So I think I got a good deal on this. And knowing him, watching him handle his cameras and stuff on his videos, takes a really, really good care of his, of his cameras. And I can tell you, looking at this thing, it's pretty much spotless. The only thing that's unique about this camera compared to like a brand new one is if you look right here, see this focuses, there you go. All of the Fujifilm writing is blacked out, which I kind of like, right? People put gaffer tape over the writing a lot for like street photography. He just painted inside this one. He told me, he was upfront about it. He said, hey, the only thing that's weird about this camera is it's painted right here in black and um, I didn't care, totally, totally awesome. But even like the AFL, AEL button on the back, those are totally blacked out, the display back button, anything that's engraved, that's got embossing, is blacked out. Um, and he gave me the 18 to 55 kit lens, both the made in Japan version, not the ones that are made in like Vietnam or wherever else they're made. I got all this for uh, for 800 bucks. So that's why I'm selling the, the Canon. Um, I'm trying to stay consistent in my system. Also, looking at the X-T2 versus the X-T3 and the X-T4, in terms of color output, the X-T2 um, has always been uniquely different to me. It's kind of like people that like the X-Pro1, the X-T1s, that 16 megapixel X-Trans sensor. It has a unique look. And I would say this does too, has a different color rendering than what's the sensor it's in my X-100V, the X-T3 or X-T4. If anybody uh, has done any kind of comparisons, you'll know it's slightly different. Of course, when you shoot raw, it, it doesn't really matter so much. You can mess the col <coughs> colors. But since I'm trying to shoot mostly JPEG, out of color, color, color rendition, out of camera color rendition does make a difference. So this is my new main cam, if you will, even though I'm shooting all with the X100V for the most part. Um, and I'm using this for any kind of video recording, any future videos be recorded on this. I do have some video gigs coming up that I'm doing for, for somebody on the side. And so I'm gonna be using this. I know like X-T3 or X-T4 would be the much better video camera, um, but I didn't wanna go spend, you know, 1300 bucks or $1,800 on a body for it to be just for video and the occasional time where I need to put a long lens on or shoot like an f1.4 lens or f1.2 lens a Fuji. So I ended up picking this up. I'm beyond um, beyond excited about it. I'm very pumped. By the way, the fact that it's from the Angry Photographer I think kind of is cool. I mean, say what you want about him. Um, I like him. He's a pretty straightforward guy. And I can tell you, uh, just talking to him personally on the phone, during this whole transaction, he's a super nice guy, super thorough. He uh, makes sure he like followed through on everything. 
He's just a good dude. I've really kind of become a bigger fan of his ever since this interaction. You know, sometimes people, YouTubers can be really rude. Um, they can be jerks. They can act like they're entitled. Not at all the case with him. You know, we talked about his farm. We talked about his family. We talked about some of his history a little bit. Not like we're BFFs or anything, but the, the guy was totally open and honest and he was awesome. He was very great about this transaction. Shipped it right away the next day, two day via FedEx, signature required, and no problems at all. And I'm very, very happy with it. And so this, is my new camera, the Fujifilm X-T2. And I'll say this to anybody watching this video, um, all the gas sufferers, right? My channel has been a lot about gas. <sighs> I had the X-T3. I've handled the X-T4. Sure, they're better cameras in some respects, but not by a lot. And for $550 compared to $1,100 or $1,300 or $1,700, uh, this is a no brainer unless you need the IBIS flippy screen, bigger battery, which is important to some people, um, or you need the slightly better video specs, or much better video specs, if you will, in the X-T3. Now, the one thing is, the sensor in this is not BSI, so the X-T3 sensor, the X-100V sensor that I have is a little bit better for low light and some of the dynamic range stuff, but for what I do, this is fantastic. I'm, um, I'm thrilled, I'm thrilled to have this camera. And so, uh, if you guys wanna buy my Canon, ADD, again, shutter counts like 100, maybe. And the Sigma 1835 lens, it's in mint condition. It's still for sale. I'm gonna be replacing it with this. I'm fully on board with Fuji. And uh, I'll be shooting this for the foreseeable future. Any new camera might be like a medium format if I ever get big money. Okay, that's it. Meet my new camera, X-T2. From the Angry Photographer, it's murdered out. I love it. I'll see you guys next time.